Let's see how can we run Selenium tests in parallel and for more details on how to create a Selenium project with Java, Gradle and JUnit, please check my Java Selenium tutorials. We have a Selenium test class, then we have the page objects and the test base which contains before and after each methods. We will add the utils package and implement a WebDriver factory class. In order to share the web driver when the test will be running in parallel, we will be using a thread local. Let's make sure we can invoke the method directly and that only one thread can execute it at a time. So our getDriver method is static and synchronized and will return a WebDriver instance. We will get the WebDriver local and if the driver is null, we will create a new Chrome driver instance. Also, let's have this system out print line and log a message with the current thread ID. And at the end we have to set the driver to our WebDriver thread local object and to return the driver. Now we will implement a similar method to call at the end of the tests where we close the driver. So we check if the driver is different than null, then we call driver quit and also make sure we call the remove for webdriver thread local. This is our webdriver factory class. Let's go on now and start using it. Switch to test base class. In before each method, we need to create a driver instance using driver factory. WebDriver factory dot get driver and in after each we need to call WebDriver factory dot quit driver. Now we can go to test class. To allow test methods from this class to run in parallel, we'll be using execution annotation and set the execution mode to concurrent. Just for training purposes, I will duplicate the existing test case, change the test name and also change the text we sent to text area. OK, so now we have our two test cases we can run in parallel. Finally, let's move to build.gradle file. We have to set some properties to enable the parallel test execution with JUnit 5. First set JUnit.Jupyter execution parallel enable to true.
then set JUnit Jupyter execution parallel mode default to concurrent in order to allow tests to be executed concurrently in multiple threads. And finally, let's set the decision of how many cores to utilize for running test cases. This depends on various factors and considerations. It's important to balance with other factors such as resource usage, system stability and the nature of the test cases. A common practice is to leave one core free for system processes and ensure better overall system stability. And to support this we will be using available processors minus one. Now it's time to give it a run. Open a common prompt and run test cases using Gradle clean test. First browser is open, the second browser is open, test cases were executed successfully. Let's also check the reports. Go to build, reports, tests and open index file. Here we have two test cases. Let's go to standard output and check the messages and as we can see we have our creating driver instance messages for threads 42 and 43. And that's everything. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.